Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi, Adrija. How are you? I'm good. And what about you? I'm doing very well. It's been quite a while since I interacted with you, right? So it's so mm. good to see you again. Glad to yeah. have you here. It's been almost four months. Yes, yes. I remember. I remember the conversation very vividly. And when I saw your name uh, in my sessions list today, I was pleasantly surprised and happy. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's so nice to talk to you again. Yeah, same here. The pleasure is all mine. So tell me, how did your day go? Yes, it was pretty nice. And, you know, right now, like suddenly for two weeks, our online classes started again. Okay. But, okay. You know, our West Bengal government said that due to the, like, you know, summer was going on. So, yes. we, like, students were, you know, they were getting sick in the school yep. if they were mm-hmm. studying so much. So, yes. Mm-hmm. So, she, she did that. But the government just, you know, not vacation, but she just mm-hmm. started these online classes for two weeks. So we okay. are now online classes and today my exam started. Today your exams have started. Okay, I wish you all the best. So for how many days will it go on? Just for this week. Five subjects, Just so five week. days. Okay, all the best. Are you feeling confident? Um, Yeah, I am. <laughs> Wonderful, that's good. So there are a lot of students who completely let go of their hobbies and passions during exams, right? So are you, do you also do that or do you try to uh, take a break from all the extracurricular activities during exams or, or do you like to manage both? Um, of course, um, I think taking a break is really important because if you just st- stick your face in the book, you know, for like, for example, four or five hours, then you will be able yeah. to remember nothing. So <laughs> yes, I, I do like to just, you know, take a normal walk around the house probably during the time I'm reading and Mm -hmm. otherwise um you know like this time in I'm at home so the entire day is off so I do other things every uh, like only for evening I just study my exam Mm -hmm. thing and otherwise I'm doing other things okay you're busy with uh, other activities that you enjoy okay interesting so how important do you think are tuitions when it comes to uh, cracking tests and exams do you think are they're as important as they're advertised to be or it's useless actually i don't have any tuition so mm-hmm. i don't i don't even get the importance of tuition yes mm-hmm. you know like my parents are like my mom mom knows a lot about science so she also mm-hmm. used to teach tuition one time so she's an okay. experienced teacher so I don't need any tuition teacher because she can teach me. But what about the other okay. houses? Probably mm-hmm. they don't have that much experience. The parents are not yes. so experienced. So at yes. that time, they do need tuitions because right now, you know, the schools have become like this that um, probably, mm-hmm. you know, you need an extra help to read mm-hmm. all the things. So previously, you know, in I'm not talking about my school because my school is mm-hmm. really well but still I have seen that mm-hmm. all, every school like most of the schools they are you know you need extra help just school will yeah. not work so my mother mm-hmm. is an experienced teacher so I'm actually learning from her so um, technically I'm learning mm-hmm. from a tuition teacher so yeah that is what <laughs> I think if you it's need it then it is really your home. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> So if through that, so mm-hmm. yes, go yes. On. You were telling something. No, no, nothing. Please continue. Okay, no, no, so no, no. please continue. The thing was, if you need it, then it is important. Tuitions. Uh, yeah, through that. So uh, when it comes to your mom, she's a teacher herself. Uh, but at home, when she's teaching you, is she very uh, lenient because you are her daughter, or is she still strict? Um, she's not strict at all. <laughs> <laughs> she just you know teaches me like we are playing or something and you know it happens I like to read that way anything like any subjects when I'm studying mm-hmm. I like to study in that type of way like mm-hmm. not you know learning I'm playing mm-hmm. and learning so I love that that's wonderful and when children learn without any fear you fall in love with the subject right so yeah that is also uh, ad- that's also an added bonus. You fall in love with the subject. You understand the concepts better. You retain it for a longer time. So great, great job. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, do you watch TV? Do you watch the news? Um, news? Yes. Sometimes. Sometimes no. 
<laughs> okay so uh, what is that one piece of news that you have heard of recently something that's happening in the world okay so recently actually the war between russia and ukraine has always been on the news and mm-hmm. i think just uh, right now also the covid yes every time it is going on though right now it is just i think for this russia and ukraine this war so mm-hmm. after this i haven't heard so many covid news <laughs> news so yeah yeah the news of war has completely overshadowed everything else that is happening everybody has forgotten about uh, covid mm. yeah yeah <laughs> um there are a lot of uh, popular news anchors who are a little too aggressive right so uh, have you watched any such news channels where the presenter is a little aggressive yelling at the top of their voice have you watched such shows yes i have there are too many right now most of the reporters are trying to be aggressive you know so yes everyone is like why are you quarreling all the time <laughs> true that so if one person does it and they become famous everybody else tries to copy the same hmm. that person right it's like a herd mentality if one thing clicks okay. everyone wants to do the same yeah okay. <laughs> um have you ever considered being a journalist journalist it's a nice one cuz i love you know writing stuff so mm-hmm. like making something is really writing something is really nice so probably i would not become a journalist but still mm-hmm. if i have to like choose between some options probably then if there is journalist then i would very good what kind of a journalist would you like to be would you like to cover crime news or would you like to cover the weather entertainment uh, which field would you like to pursue journalism in um not weather of course but still you know <laughs> um anything like you know the breaking news that happens mostly mm-hmm. in international news political yes. news everything like that what is going on in each and every country so i'd like to keep but keep uh, in touch because i really love to talk about and know about different countries and what is happening in, over there mm-hmm. so yes probably i choose that okay fantastic that's good and uh, have you ever considered being a new anchor or uh, not somebody who writes stuff but someone who presents news on tv so you be comfortable if you ever received an offer like that in the future um it's tough cuz i have seen mm-hmm. that probably i would uh, of course in english cuz yes i can talk in my mother tongue as well but mm-hmm. probably not like that so it's mm-hmm. really tough you know i have seen all these news mm-hmm. reporters like uh, like they are selling the news like a storm so i don't yeah. get how they do that they are not looking at a page or something they are just mm-hmm. telling it so it's a really mm-hmm. tough thing to do <laughs> if i can then of course i would <laughs> Yeah you know what the secret is the secret is they have the news being presented in front of them on a board so they don't have anything written down but it will keep flashing mm-hmm. in front of their eyes they read it from there Oh wow that is also a nice one yeah. but still to read it and then you know say it like that just keeping a neutral face mm-hmm. not smiling or nothing Yeah that is a little difficult for you right <laughs> yeah even for me also it would be very difficult to keep a straight face constantly and keep reading something it's uh, tough it's tough for sure and um, do you think that these days uh, journalists sometimes exaggerate a little bit just to get more trps of course all the time like it's in every news channel suppose there has just a, a little bit of water maybe stacked somewhere and they are going to go like there a flood has occurred help them somebody please help them they are hungry they are dying this happens so it is too much exaggerated the news these days yes um it and uh, um in your house is it do you guys watch news every single day um sometimes maybe you t- tune in the tv at 9 pm and watch it every day or is it occasionally um during like 2020 during the time of covid when covid just started mm-hmm. like yeah not even a single time the tv was off every time the news was going on but yeah. right now we don't watch at all like we are uh-huh. so sick of this news you know same news mm-hmm. every day so we don't really watch news we just you know see the news headlines once in the newspaper or probably in the mm-hmm. phone and done yeah. 
okay good uh, this way you will be aware about the current affairs but also you won't be sucked into the world of negativity so yeah. there'll be a proper balance yeah yeah that's a very clever thing i'm i'm really impressed and in your school when i was in school we had these uh, general knowledge competitions gk competitions where we had categories on sports history current affairs etc do you also have the same um yes um we do have quiz competitions like yes it's based yeah. on gk only and you need to yeah. choose you know what topics you want yes we do have sometimes okay do you enjoy preparing for those yes i love to i as i said i love to gain knowledge so gk is also yeah. one of my really really favorite subjects <laughs> wonderful that's nice uh, it will help you a lot later in the future because when you meet different people if you are knowledgeable about different topics so you will be able to hold a conversation much better you won't be clueless when somebody asks you something about politics or technology you will have something to contribute right so uh, don't yeah. lose this after school keep uh, you know upskilling yourself learning reading so it will definitely help you of course of course okay perfect yeah so those were all my questions to you related to news and news channels journalism etc and just like last time you have answered every one of them very very well very fluent you are like this bundle of uh, positive energy when you talk you are so excited to share your views etc so that's a great sign always be like this uh, confident and uh, no excited okay so that's great now some general questions i would like to ask you if you had one wish what would it be one wish like anything magical even anything anything at all oh okay so i would like to um you know i'd like to just you know during the summer vacation i'd love to visit a good place <laughs> cuz i haven't okay. went to a really good place you know for two years due to this lockdown yeah. so yeah, yeah. probably somewhere okay. uh, you know abroad of india okay somewhere outside of india all right perfect and uh, if you were uh, the principal of a school of your own school what would you like to change Okay. <laughs> um if i i would like to change some of the if any school probably then you know the teaching uh the teaching method like the yeah. not you know giving so much homeworks and mm. um then you know teaching the students like you know you're teaching the subject you're not just yeah. scolding them always you know yeah. teachers are not supposed to just you know teach they are supposed to do a lot of things other than teach so i think mm. i think you know you should train the teachers like that cuz like uh, you know teachers just come in the class probably and they are just giving their lecture and going away so it is not just a concept of learning it yeah. uh, you know it will make the subjects boring so i think the teaching method should be changed a little bit very good much much needed so um in your school do, you, do they use any videos to teach you like the digital medium of instructions like a presentation videos uh short films etc do they incorporate that in their teaching methods um yes in our school we do have a smart lab where sometimes yeah. you know especially in history we yeah. uh, visit there and we see these videos and it's really helpful yeah. you know when you are seeing the animated version of whatever you are actually learning it really helps yeah. you a lot yeah that's true um is that there for all the subjects or only few subjects like science and science and i don't know what are the subjects they use it for also uh, it depends like um we haven't in this year like in class 9 we haven't gone to the smart lab for science mm -hmm. we actually go to the biology lab or chemistry lab we don't really okay. go to the smart lab so probably we would go like if they need to show us something at that time mm -hmm. they show us it it is not based upon any subject okay so if the concept uh, demands it then only they yeah. show you the videos related to that okay yeah. that's really nice we didn't have it during my school days uh, but i'm glad that you guys have the chance to experience it yeah fantastic yeah. so yeah those are all my questions to you adrija um you are a very confident speaker a lot of people can learn many things from you whether it is your expressions your uh, voice modulation Uh, your body language everything it's pitch perfect uh, if i had to point something out so that you can improve further i think it's the usage of the filler word you know all right try to curb it down a little bit uh, so that uh, your speech becomes even more fluent okay that's mm. the only thing 
<laughs> yeah i know like you know i'm always saying again i'm always using that word all the time <laughs> that's okay slowly slowly it will go away maybe you can take up any particular topic um and speak impromptu like an extempore and record yourself and see how many times you have used the filler then uh, do it again for another 2 two, two minutes and trust me uh, once you are aware of how many times you have used it automatically you will become that much more aware and you will stop using it frequently right mm. so just record and play your uh, uh, extempore topics your speech etc it will help you right Of course thank you so much you're most welcome as always it's been lovely interacting with you if you have any questions or queries for me now please go ahead and let me know i know it's all right okay fine then so have a great evening and i wish you luck for your exams uh, prepare okay. well and i'm sure you'll ace it okay thank you so much all right take care bye bye bye